It's arguably the most recognized fashion brand in the world. Here at Louis Vuitton, every detail is stitched, hammered and painted by hand by master craftsmen. At the heart of the Louis Vuitton brand is travel. This is how it really all began. Take a look at this suitcase. Inside it is a foldable bed. It was used and sold in the late 19th century for the exploration of Africa. The same with this one here. It's actually made of aluminium so the insects can get in. From trunks to handbags and special commissions, everything is painstakingly produced at workshops like this one just outside of Paris. Some pieces require 300 stages to assemble. At the helm of Louis Vuitton's parent company, LVMH, the largest luxury group in the world, is Bernard Arnault. We already are behind uh, the possibility of uh, production because we want to keep the best level of quality and to train our team. Maybe it takes 18 months to two years before uh, they can really start producing. I've been working here for 26 years. I verify and make sure that all the corners are perfect. The brand has a long history. Louis Vuitton himself came to Paris as an apprentice trunk maker the year before the first ocean liners made their maiden transatlantic voyages. It was a time of great productivity. This is the home of Louis Vuitton and his family. It was built in 1869. And you can tell having a look around that attention to detail and craftsmanship began at home. From the stained glass windows in the 1900s to that blue Art Nouveau fireplace, even the chandelier, which screams La Belle Époque. A piece special? Oui. That has been ordered, ordered. by a customer mm -hmm. that we designed for him. Today, LVMH has over 60 brands in its portfolio, and Louis Vuitton alone is worth almost $30 billion, according to Forbes. Merchandising French style is what has proved so popular with customers around the world. I remember when the first time I went to China in 1991 for the opening of the first Louis Vuitton shop, and in the street of Beijing, you had no cars, only bicycles. You know. And in spite of that, we opened, and because we were the first in China, we still are the first today. So in a global market, what's the value of an event like Paris Fashion Week? How does that translate from the catwalk to goods sold? Very often, uh, on the catwalk, you trigger uh, the, the desire of uh, the, the, the customer. And, and very, very often, uh, after the show, we have a demand for the, the product that has been shown. Demand that Louis Vuitton, the teenage trunk apprentice, could only have dreamed of. Isa Suarez, CNN, Paris.